Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Makecraft Ultimates. We're here setting up an AE system. Very nice. It has power. There's no way of accessing it though. So I need to set up a tele. So that would be the ME tele. Formation plane. Right, we need to pulverize a few of these. Two of you and two of you. We need a illuminated panel. It's made like so. Is it like that? No. Better find out what it's made from. like that. Okay, I don't really need that many so far. So it's just one of those, a logic, and one of these. One of those. ME terminal. Brilliant. So upstairs, uh, looks like there's a mob spawn spot Point down there. I'll have to check that out later. But let's get this done to solve all of my inventory issues with just like one or two pieces of cable. about it. Cable, 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 bang, go down, everything goes away. It's been a while my friends, it's been a while. Okay, so the only issue with this is that we don't have a Kill this guy. Oh, shoot. He does a lot of damage back. Just pick up my stuff and then we can finish him off later. Because this guy isn't a damagey one. And I left everything I needed upstairs. Like almost everything that I needed was upstairs. table up here that would have even had to go up downstairs anyway. Right, uh, case. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming to be honest. I probably should have done something about it there. Right, uh, where is that matic gone? Or whatever it was. Take down this guy. He's doing a lot of damage to me. It's really strong and everything. Alright, get out of that. You can go away too. This is just you, this is just annoying. Um, don't have any torches. Like if I'm down, because apparently there's a bomb spawn location somewhere in my factory. It's making it very dangerous to work in it. I'm trying to be helpful here. This should be like the last time I die, pretty much, for like the entire season. I'm hoping. Where's the spawn point? I'm not seeing it. Shit. He's doing a lot of damage to me.
What's going on with these zombies? Hang on. He's not actually there. That's just annoying. Now, fix this. <laughs> so it's very annoying that there's a zombie there, according to my thing, but he's not at. There we go. And Flemo turns itself on again. Off you go. Let's head upstairs. See what we can do. Um. Let's delete these death ones, and so there's two of them. Not too bad. So twice again, this episode. Not a big deal. Just trying to craft some things, man. Just like one shot me when he came up behind me, so... I don't know. He can do what he wants, I guess. In that sense. Ooh. This is not you're supposed to do this. Nearly forgot the recipe for it. Oh, exploiting kickoff stuff is going to work, is it? It's not going to show up properly, is it? Uh, why? Why do you do this? It means that I'm gonna have to have like bricks going across the whole way. Straight in. So it means I can't really use the hex plating, can I? I have to change that later, I'm afraid. I liked it. <laughs> God. Frustrating. So I don't have any food at the moment. I should really be taking it out of here. Just eating. I would have been fine if I had food. Let's get my stuff again. I have like no XP anymore. It's very frustrating. That should be the last time I die this season. Probably. Unless I do something like that again. Or I just fall off the building. I don't know why I'm being so derpy today. Dying repeatedly for no actual good reasons. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's go inside. So we have everything ready to go. An A system. A few things I'd like to do with it that I can't do yet. Um, we just like empty my inventory out into the system for the moment. Get some things moved over at the moment. Right, uh, yeah. I need to fill up my hotbar with stuff at the moment so that I don't pick anything up. Things that won't be in the chest, so. Move everything over from the hole into the factory now. Everything in here is moving over. So we don't have to go so far to move everything. It does seem to be quite far. It's not actually that far, but it just feels like quite far. So I think if I'm going to bring any cables up the walls, I'm going to have to not go through the hex plating. On the floors, it doesn't really matter where they are. Probably do them actually let the cabling go through the floor as opposed to the wall, like I normally do. Then I don't have to worry about the text blazing. 
So I'll see if I can work around it. If not, then I'm switch out the hex plating for something else. But that won't be too hard. I can just use like a, a resident exchanger or one of equal trade or something. One of those things. We'll see how it goes. I probably shouldn't even bother to close my door at this point. No real point in it. Uh, wrong way around. Okay, up the stairs. It's a little bit laggy, actually, for some reason. Can't quite explain. Still, at least there's no um, memory leak, as you can see. My memory is still pretty low. So that's good. There's a lot of filling of this thing to do. And I'm not even like finished with preparing it. Like there's a lot of things I want to do with it. Such as putting the um, drive into a subnetwork so that it doesn't use up as many channels in the long run. Well, I get free channels out of it effectively. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna just fill up this thing and we'll be back in a second. See you guys. Yeah.